So I was walking my dog this morning and I noticed after it looked like people were cleaning up the apartment yesterday. I'm not sure, but that's what it looked like. A couple of black SUVs. It looks like the curtains have been taken off of 9P. The bedroom and the um, um, living room. So, I'm just going to talk openly about it because it's about a child being tortured to death and I live in a community where I'm not being facetious or sarcastic when I say I'm really not so sure anybody gives a shit. Across the hall from me, we have someone who... Maybe her boyfriend did the beating, but she didn't do any ambulance calling for weeks, according to the police report. And the only reason I even know that is because she threatened me after being charged with manslaughter, her own little three-year-old. And when someone threatens me for no reason, calls the police on me to cover her own bad temper because she thinks I'm going to call the police on her. I mean, I'm just so sick of it. They're not even humans. And, uh, you know, and I, I, you hear them talk about, like, maybe somebody has cancer and they sound like maybe they're upset, planning a funeral or all the normal things that go on in people's lives. But it's like you, you don't just turn it on and off. People are full of crap. And, and you know what? I, that's not even what I'm going to talk about. What I'm talking about is Philip Savopoulos. The little boy who was tortured to death last May, I think it was last May, in the, I want to say 25th or something, I don't know the exact date, but May 2015, the family that was murdered, I think they, did they set their house on fire, and um, some guy named Darren Wint, I think was arrested. Um, I have this theory about braids, but we'll get into that later. Um, so, about a week or two maybe later, uh, I don't have a lot of memory here, so I'm going to try to be brief. As I'm watching the pimp, uh, the good friend of the baby killer next to me, uh, who threatens me, um, my mother was like sick of hearing about it, so she says, how often does it happen? Even my own mother said that. She says, does it happen every day? And I'm like, uh, no, that's because I avoid him like the plague every day. Because anytime I see him, there's no camera in his face. And um, the camera comes out when he starts threatening. And, and he relishes the opportunity to see me. And so he'll let me have it. He'd push me down the stairs, tell the cops she pushed herself, and the cops would believe it. That's like basically how I feel living here. And I am desperate.